Hi, I'm Sarah Baya and welcome to my science class. Hello and welcome to another fun and interesting lesson today. We are on the second quarter and we will be exploring about living things and their environment. In today's lesson, we will be describing the main functions of the major organs of the body. At the end of our lesson, we are expected to describe the organs such as the muscle, bones, kidneys, stomach, intestine, heart, lungs, and brain, its parts and functions. The human body is everything that makes up, well, you. It is composed of major organs that work together to make the body function properly. In grade 3, you learn that sense organs such as your eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin are your body's window to the world. Through our sense organs, we came to know what is happening around us. Let's have a review of each senses by identifying which sense organ do you use in the following situations. Have fun answering! If you answered them all correctly, congratulations! But before we move on with our discussion, let's be reminded to wash our hands often, avoid close contact with sick person, cover when you cough or sneeze, wear face masks and protective shields, and to disinfect your surroundings in order to prevent the spread of diseases. The human body is a complex biological system involving cells, tissues, organs, and systems all working together to make a human being. Like all living organisms, the human body is made up of tiny cells that work together to make up a tissue, and this tissue performs specific functions that make up an organ. In today's lesson, we will investigate some of the major organs of our body. Here are some of the organs we will feature in our lesson. Let's take a tour of the human body and get to know more about the organs, its parts, and function. Did you know that you have more than 600 muscles in your body? Muscles all made of small elastic fibers, sort of like the material in a rubber band. They are under our skin and cover our bones, and muscles work by contracting and relaxing, which results to different body movements. Muscles are how we move and live. All movements in the body, such as running, walking, and lifting heavy objects, are controlled by muscles. Some muscles work without us thinking, like our heart beating, while other muscles are controlled by our thoughts and allow us to do stuff and move around. And did you know that the strongest muscle is in our jaw, which we use for chewing? Our jaw muscles can exert a biting strength with an average force of 117 to 265 pounds to an object. Ever wonder what provides strength and rigidity to our body so we don't just flop around like a jellyfish? Well, that's because of our bones. There are 206 bones in our body. Bones are hard, smooth, and solid from the outside, which is made of a mineral called calcium, and soft, porous, spongy material from the inside, which we call marrow. Because of these characteristics, it allows our bones to be lighter, slightly bendable, and won't break easily. 
The main function of our bones is to provide protection to softer, fragile parts like the brain, heart, and lungs and help us to move around by providing support to our muscles. And did you know that our bones stop growing when we reach 20 years old? Long bones stop growing because their growth plates fuse. During this process, the cartilage cells stop dividing and all of the cartilage is replaced by bone. If someone asks you to point to your stomach, where would you point? Our stomach is located higher up in your abdomen on the left side of the body. Shaped like the letter J, our stomach is mostly an empty sac that is 12 inches in length and 6 inches in width. Inside our stomach is a fluid called gastric juice that breaks down the food we eat into smaller pieces. Enzymes in the stomach goes to work breaking down proteins that our body can use. This process is called digestion. Did you know that an adult's stomach can hold 1.5 liters of food and stay there for 2 to 3 hours? So eating too much requires your stomach to work harder and may cause acid to back up and the esophagus resulting to heartburn. Intestines are organs that are shaped like long tubes. They are found at the middle part of the body below the rib cage. The intestines are divided into two main sections, the small intestine and the large intestine. The small intestine is 22 to 25 feet long and coils like a maze. The large intestine is 5 to 6 feet long and larger in diameter than the small intestine. Our intestines have a special kind of muscle that squeezes and relaxes in a wave-like motion which pushes food and waste through the intestines. Intestines help break down food by absorbing it and passing the nutrients through the blood to the body so it can be used for energy. It also helps in sending unwanted materials out of the body as wastes. And did you know that we can live without the large intestine but not the small intestine? If the small intestine is removed, nutrients digested will not be absorbed by the body. Nutrients must be put directly into the bloodstream in liquid form through intravenous ways. Our kidneys are busy. They are like washing machines for the blood in the body. Kidneys comes in pair and shape like a bean. Each kidney is about 5 inches long and 3 inches wide, about the size of a computer mouse. They are located at the right back, just right above our hips. One of the main job of our kidney is to filter the waste out of the blood. When the cells absorbs nutrients, the cells use these nutrients and releases waste materials that our body does not need. The waste then goes through the blood and filtered by the kidney producing a fluid called urine. It also helps maintain the balance of fluids and materials in the body. And did you know that our kidney work around the clock to filter around 2 gallons of blood in an hour? That's about 200 liters of blood each day. Air outside travels through your nose and goes down a tube to reach your lungs. Our lungs are in your chest and they come in pairs. They are like sponges that help us inhale and exhale air. To keep it safe from harm, our lungs are protected by the rib cage in front, the spine at the back, and the diaphragm beneath the lungs. Our lungs are bag-like organs that we use for breathing. When we breathe in air, air filled with oxygen flows into the lungs and absorbed by the blood to be distributed to different parts of the body. When we exhale, a gas called carbon dioxide is absorbed by the blood and released by the lungs out of your body. 
Breathing is the process of moving air in and out of the lungs. An average adult breathes in 13 pints of air in a minute. That totals to about 11,000 liters of air per day. The human heart is a pear-shaped and slightly larger than a fist. It is located in the middle of the chest cavity and it is made up of muscles that moves by contracting and relaxing, causing blood to circulate throughout the body. The main job of our heart is to pump blood to every part of the body. It works like two pumps. The left side of the heart gets blood from the lungs and collects oxygen and all the food, vitamins, and minerals that our body needs. The right side of the heart carries carbon dioxide and picks up stuff that our body doesn't need. Did you know that an average adult can pump about 55 to 80 milliliters of blood? with each beat and around 6,000 to 7,500 liters or 2,000 gallons of blood a day. The brain is such an awesome organ. It's a ball of gray-looking wrinkled tissue about the size of two of your fists put together. It sits in a hard, thick skull with membranes and fluids around to protect it. The brain is divided into two hemispheres, left and right side. The brain is where we do our thinking. Our senses are tied into our brains. We remember, have emotions, solve problems, worry about stuff, dream about the future, and controls all our movement and some body functions. The brain connects to nerves that travel throughout and send signals to our body to let us know what is going in the outside world. And did you know that when you reach the age of 25, our brain is now fully mature? So, are you ready for some challenge? We're going to play Guess the human organ game. Read the description very well and guess which organ of the body does it. If you're ready, let's begin. If you answer them all correctly, congratulations! So today, we have learned that the human body is composed of different organs that works together to make the body function properly. So make sure to take care of your organs for they are vital for our survival. So that's it for our lesson today. 
don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module and answer the activities in your worksheets. Once again, I'm your teacher, Sir Abaya. Thanks for listening. That's all for today. See you next time.